Okay, trot on the spot now. Trot on the spot. Use your torso to trigger. Keep it, have the neck how you want it. Trot on the spot, trot on the spot. Good, good. Now let the fall. You see, your tendency yeah. is to fix everything by riding forward, yeah. which is a really good quality. But it's not the fix to everything. If you want to trot on the spot, the mare has to trot on the spot without going forward. Very good pattern. Yeah? And then you can put your energy in the pushing chair. But she has to accept you in the first place. If you do something and she comes hollow and the first thing you do is clap your leg on, yeah. then she can go against that and yeah. run against it. This is lovely. Yeah. Ready for her? This is good. Yeah, remember the rules. Before you go, before you go, have you got anything else on this range to consider? Uh, this is her better range in general. Yeah. But um, we top work now. I think on this range, well I think on both ranges, but I think the consideration for you on this range is that you have to watch where the shoulders are. Because she can be a little bit low in the left, tilted over in the head, yeah. and then out the right. And for me, the main aim on this range is that you ride the right oh, shoulder, right. the outside of it. And then that just stops the tilt, makes the left shoulder pick up. So forward just now. Yeah, go forward again. And then go when you're ready. Okay, the same rules apply. Okay, and then try and do that at 12 o'clock rather than at 5 past. So the next straight, good, good. Very nice. Okay, just let's help her a little bit. Stay on this, in this work, let's help her a little bit. In through to the right flexion, a little bit over to the right. It's all about the balance and form, and having the chance to try to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, I just like you to get that flexion there because that gives you the outside of it. Now, do that on the spot. Because then she has to accept what you're asking. Yeah? Now ride her straight in the neck, and then roll her over to the left flexion, and then ride her forward. If you lose the right shoulder, do the same process again. Good now. Good now. If she tilts right, you know in the head, can you feel that? Watch yeah. me look. She goes a bit like that. Now speak of that, that happens when that left shoulder goes down. Okay. Now the left shoulder goes down, and the right one goes out. Yeah. So then try back in the middle again. Very good. Right forward again. And you've got a bit of playing about with that today. Yeah. Because the, the horse, when you said, oh, this is the preferred range, see, to me, this is the more difficult range. Right. I prefer the other range because. It feels softer because it's cheating. Yeah, it's softer but more crooked, I think. Yeah. And not so straight. The other range is straighter. Stiffer and less soft, but, but for me better. But anyway, they're all both going to be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. This mare will be niggy if she's out the shoulder. Well done. she runs there and she gets a bit arsy yeah. because she's not used to you um, having her that straight. When you've got the shoulder straight, so you put the yeah. neck back to the middle or to the left. After all these years, Alice, aren't you bored of listening today? <laughs> <laughs>